What's up, everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here, bringing you another review. And of course, with the spooky season, we are on to continuing our Halloween franchise reviews on to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Until this film, Curse of Michael Myers, I think was the most avant-garde, kind of craziest, wild Michael Myers film we've seen. Then we got Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, a film that he necessarily didn't want to film, but he ended up doing. So, of course, we're going to be talking some spoilers, so if you haven't seen this film... You definitely got to go run out and watch it and then come back and talk about it with me. So Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 sees all his like reoccurring actors come back. We got Daniel Harris, Scout Taylor Compton, Malcolm McDowell. We got Tyler Mayne coming back as Michael, like Sherry Moon Zombie's back in this film. So it's just for me, this was one that isn't like my cup of tea, as you can say. It just was a film that I could appreciate the vision he was going for. But I just didn't like the ride he took us on during this film. But we'll get into talking about the positives and the things that I do like about this movie. So I definitely don't want to make this just a completely slam video because I don't hate this film. This isn't the worst Michael film to me out of the Halloween franchise. I just think it's the most avant-garde kind of artsy fartsy type michael myers film but the things i do like in this movie is we do have again an aggressive michael myers the most aggressive you're going to see out of any of the halloween franchise films and i think the look is a very beautiful looking film as i said before with rob zombies halloween with halloween 2 equally looks just as beautiful the cinematography everything rob zombie really knows how to shoot his films and like I said, bringing back those reoccurring actors, you know, like Scout Taylor Compton and Malcolm McDowell, just keeping the consistency there. The only actor he changes is the young child actor. He gets a new young child actor to play the young Michael character. But like I said, it still does look very good in terms of the cinematography and colorization and everything. I really do love the first like seven to ten minutes of this movie where he kind of homages Halloween 2, even though it ends up becoming a nightmare, you know, Scout Taylor's nightmare. I just think... That intro sequence is like so good, but as it was happening and like it progressed, I was like, damn, this isn't going to be like the movie we're going to get, even though I kind of want this movie. I was like, this, it was very brutal, and I liked that intro scene. Like, just that whole hospital sequence, I think, is amazing. So, let's get down to talking about the negatives of this movie, because, like I said, this isn't my cup of tea. So, there are negatives, things that I do not like about this film. So where Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 kind of fell flat for me is just the characters. I think compared to that first film, I actually had a fun time with that first film. I thought the first film, the characters were rich. I liked pretty much all of them. Some of them were side characters just there to die, but I liked the, the characters in the first film. I even liked the portrayal of young Michael, the first 15, 20 minutes of that didn't bother me. Like the writing, everything in that first film. But this one, I feel like the characters, I don't enjoy them as much. And as I said, I can see where what Rob Zombie was going for. You know, I can definitely appreciate his vision, as I said before, because he was going for a more psychological study of the character of Michael and Laurie Strode. Like, I think that first film was more of like a Michael Myers type film, and this one's more about Laurie Strode. And they kind of mirror each other, you know what I mean? So Rob Zombie's Halloweens, he, re it really, he really did think about them. They're not confusing. He didn't leave, like, stuff not unknown. Like, everything is known throughout both of these films. So it's clear-cut stories, but I just didn't like the journey he took us on in that second film, you know what I mean? And as I said, the actors, the portrayals of the characters... They are really acting and they're good, but I just didn't like the where it went. I didn't like where the story went, even though some people say that Malcolm McDowell's character, his is very believable, the way he is in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, Scout Taylor Compton dealing with the PTSD thing. Like, all of it's very realistic, but I just didn't like it. Like I said, the execution for Halloween 2 is where it kind of fell flat for me. I enjoy the look. And I enjoy, like I said, Michael's like brutality in the film. But in terms of story-wise, that's where it really hurts for me when I watch this film. I still can watch this movie, though, and appreciate it. Like I said, Halloween Resurrection is, for me, definitely my least favorite Michael film. The one I will never return to, or I, I hate to return to. I will only return to it if I have to, or somebody wants to binge Michael Myers, and they're like, you know, to show him, like, how bad it really got. Like, that that's how I would watch that film. But Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, I can return to this film and find some enjoyment in watching some of the things in it. Like I said, there are things I do appreciate about this film, but it's just not my... Michael it's not going to be one of the first or second or third ones I'm going to pick up off the shelf to go watch or anything like that 
So overall, in my book, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 is going to get a 5.5 out of 10. It's just right there, like, you know, average ground for me in terms of Michael Myers' Halloween films. It's definitely above average because, like I said, it looks so good. It's very competently made, and the acting in it is really good and stuff like that. You can tell the actors cared about these characters. I just didn't enjoy the story where it went, and the execution of the story for me is where it fell flat. It's just, it wasn't something I wanted. Like, for me... <laughs> I'm a very like picky person. Like I can tell you that right now. I'm a picky person and I'm very, once I find something I like, I like that. So when I like Friday the 13th and I like my Halloween films, I kind of like them to be a certain way and I'm not one of those people that like change that much. So when Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 came out, I wasn't one of those people that was clamoring for something different or you know wanting change. So when it happened, I was just like, "Damn, like Where's my Michael Myers? Like, and I didn't really like the look of Michael either in this film. So it's just a film that I could appreciate it, but it's not a film that I enjoy that much in terms of the Halloween franchise. Thanks for sticking around with me all for this chat of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Definitely in the comments section, let me know what you all thought of the film. I know this one's gotten kind of a cult following over the years. There are a lot of fans of this film, and I would love to talk to you guys. Let me know what you think of the film, why you enjoy the film, or are you a fan that's kind of like middle mediocre ground with this film like me, or do you just hate this version of Rob Zombie, you know, Michael Myers? Let me know in the comments section, as I said. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Next, we're going to be on to Halloween 2018. Then, of course, I'm going to check out Halloween Kills and drop my non-spoiler review for that. And then I'm going to rank all the Halloween films and pop out that video, hopefully like around the Halloween, actually the day, like around Halloween day. And you'll see my ranking for all the Halloween films. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.